Hello friends. We are here in John chapter 7. This is an interesting chapter. It's not very long. And uh, I, I think there's a theme, and I'll just tell you in the beginning what I think the theme is. It's this idea of how much are you going to look into Jesus and find whether or not he's real. You know, whether you grew, grew up in a Christian home or whether you, you know, come from a, a very a very hostile towards Christianity home, you know, it, however you grew up or whatever you think, you should really look into Jesus and try and figure out if he's for real or not. So that's what we're talking about today. It's interesting because in the beginning it shows the dis not the disciples, but the brothers, like the, the physical brothers of Jesus. You know, and it even says that they, they didn't believe in him. You know, so if you're trying to say that these are his spiritual brothers, it couldn't be that because <laughs> it says that they didn't believe in Jesus. So, you know, his younger brothers are basically telling him, you know, why don't you go to the Feast of Booths? And he's like, well, you, go as, you guys go to the Feast of Booths. And, you know, I'll go up later. Or he says, you know, my time has not yet come. It's not the right time for me to go. So they go up and then he goes up later. You know, it's a multi-day event. And he starts teaching in the, in the temples there. Now it's said right there that his brothers don't believe in him. And this is interesting. You know, you would think that if you grew up in the same house with Jesus, that you might, you might kind of look in to it. You know, we know later on that, that his brothers do end up believing in him. You know, and in fact, his brother James became the, the leader of the Christian church at some point. And uh, we have the book of Jude, also written by Jesus, or J Jesus, his brother. And, um, you know, the book of Jude is, a, is a, an amazing book. So, you know, they became very close followers of their, of their older brother. But at this point they, they don't believe in him yet and so they're they're saying you know why don't you why don't you go and show off who you are to to the people if if you are who you say you are and so so he does what they're asking is how do you have so much knowledge if you had no formal rabbinical education you know if if you didn't go to rabbi school how do you have so much knowledge about, about all of these things? And so he's saying, you know, why don't you, why don't you find out? You know, but if I'm, if I'm truly who I'm claiming to be, if I'm, if I'm sent from God, you know, when I get my, my, my communication straight from God, I don't need to go to a rabbi school to find those things out. You know, it's interesting when I was in college, I took a, uh, a course in religion and when we got to Christianity you know the professor was he was not teaching pro-Christianity in this religion class but we got to Christianity and at some point one of our readings said that Jesus didn't know how to read and write which is completely ridiculous you know there's parts in the New Testament where he's in the synagogues and he's reading the scriptures so I don't know why they would say that but you know, I kind of feel like this goes along with, with what this chapter is about. It's like if you want to find out whether or not Jesus is, is, is who he says he is, then look into it and find out. You know, if, if that person who wrote in this textbook, you know, really wanted to know if Jesus knew how to read and write, you know, they were getting that, they were getting that idea because Jesus didn't actually write the Bible there, accounts of of things written to him so they they just conclude that Jesus can't read but but if these people can read why won't they just you know see that it, it has times in in the Bible where Jesus is reading so this is happening all over this chapter where where he is saying you know you guys can know where I came from and and then later on they're saying but isn't he a Galilean you know and the Galilee was not a very respected place back then. The Pharisees were saying, isn't this guy from Galilee? Doesn't it say in the scriptures that he would come from Bethlehem? Now, if they had actually asked him, if they had actually looked into it, they would find out 
that he was a son of David born in Bethlehem. You know, and, and then he went off to Egypt and then he came back and lived in Galilee. And it even says in the Old Testament that he would be called a Nazarene. So, <laughs> so Jesus fills this perfectly and yet they're like, well, this can't be true because he's from Galilee. And so Nicodemus, who uh, you would know from chapter 3, basically Jesus has this long conversation with Nicodemus. And, and Nicodemus kind of speaks out and says, shouldn't we look into this? Shouldn't we see whether or not he is who he says he is? And, you know, look into the scriptures and find out, you know, about, <laughs> about him. And they say, well, are you from Galilee too? Calling him stupid, essentially. They're like, are you a Galilean too? And they say, why don't you look in the scriptures and find that no prophets come from Galilee. Which, by the way, is not true. Nahum was from Galilee. Jonah was from Galilee. I think even Elijah was from Galilee. You know, all these... <laughs> there's a whole... Pretty big prophets have come from Galilee. But... But they're just so blinded by their hatred for, toward Jesus that, that they, don't even, they don't even see it. They don't even want to see it. And so there's something that it happens early in this chapter that I think is kind of funny. You know, Jesus basically says, you guys are so angry at me because I healed someone on the Sabbath. And he says, you know, if, if, if you... Well, Jesus says, you are so angry with me because I healed someone on the Sabbath. But he says, if someone was born essentially on a Friday, you know, they would always circumcise them on the eighth day, whether it be the Sabbath or not. So he's saying, basically, you can circumcise someone on the Sabbath, but you get so mad you want to kill me because I heal someone on the Sabbath. Clearly showing the double standard that they're giving. So, well, that is John chapter 7. Have a great day.